besides adverse events, and some patients start having chronic adverse events like fatigue or throusias, we also have the issue of cost and sustainability of our uh, healthcare system. Uh, these drugs are not cheap, and of course, when we can stop them, especially if patients are still benefiting, there is an added um, reason to do that from a systems perspective. perspective. The data set that we have from Keynote 10, which is the more, most mature we have for patients who receive therapy for two years, is that two-thirds of patients continue to respond even when we stop, um, especially if we do it after two years. I wouldn't usually want to stop at one year because we have one trial with nivolumab, which showed that patients who continue for more than a year tend to have better progression for survival, and there was even a trend towards better overall survival. So I would not usually like to stop before getting to the two-year mark, but it does seem to be safe to stop after two years, especially if patients have um, even mild adverse events.